thank everyone for um, uh, 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 coming to this press conference. Um, I know it's a little short notice. Uh, it's extremely important. Uh, we're dealing with a national security issue, uh, dealing, dealing with domestic terrorism. Um, I'm here today not uh, as a candidate running for U.S. Senate. Um, I'm here uh, as an American citizen that is genuinely concerned uh, about our country um, and is genuinely concerned and sincerely concerned about the undermining of our democracy uh, that is taking place right now. Um, and I have a responsibility um, and an obligation uh, to make the American public aware uh, of what has been happening uh, over the last uh, six months. Um, I want to make clear that the federal law enforcement uh, was made aware of the situation uh, immediately, um, and I, I gave it some time, uh, and, and now it's time for the American public to fully understand uh, the gravity of the situation, what is happening, um, because I believe strongly, as you know me, as the whistleblower in the HSBC money laundering scandal, um, that sometimes exposure, uh, public exposure, um, is, is the best way, uh, and using your First Amendment rights, uh, especially through journalism, uh, is the best way to inform the public. And once the public is informed, uh, massive action can, can take place by applying, applying the right pressure to legislators and government officials uh, to take the, the necessary action uh, to, to uh, protect us. Um, and again, right now, uh, I wanna emphasize that our democracy um, is in absolute uh, danger. Um, so I wanna go through what is taking place um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick to the facts on this um, and uh, just take care of some housekeeping issues. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please text 703-408-4973. Uh, again, you can text 703-408-4973, um, and I'll address all of your questions um, uh, you know, uh, with 100% honesty and transparency. Um, I want to make sure all questions are answered uh, at the end of my uh, uh, talk or my, at the end of the press conference. Uh, I'll be speaking, just so you know, for maybe about 15 minutes, walking you through this. This is a very complex situation, uh, but I try, I'm going to try to break it down as just simply as possible. So let's start um, as to when this uh, event occurred and, and why we're here today. Uh, and the reason is, is really to break it down very simply that, you know, I believe that General Flynn um, is committing treason against the United States. Uh, I believe his attorney, um, um, Ivan Reitlin, uh, Sidney Powell, and, and, uh, and, and Giuliani uh, are also uh, committing treason against the United States. I understand that's a very, very strong word. Uh, but based on what I have seen um, and I've witnessed, uh, I, I truly believe that is the case. Um, General Flynn is controlling uh, a group uh, called the Patriot Caucus. Uh, now, uh, initially, when I first ran into this group, I thought they were the Patriots, which is different. Uh, the Patriots are more uh, uh, aligned with, with Trump, but the Patriot Caucus is different. They focus more on national security issues, uh, except their national security version um, is that they believe they're living under a terrorist state um, with, with Biden as president. Uh, in fact, they don't believe Biden is president. They believe President Trump is president. Uh, let me make very clear uh, that, uh, you know, I, I believe very strongly that, I believe, not very strongly, but I believe, I believe factually that President Biden is the uh, president of the United States. Um, in, in this process, um, uh, uh, there is uh, a gentleman financing uh, General Flynn, um, and uh, we're going to get into names. I'm looking to name people. Uh, I don't really care if I get sued. Uh, my, my sole objective is to protect the United States of America, uh, and uh, these people need to be named so, they, so people can explore what they're doing uh, and ask them questions as to why they're doing it. Um, but this Patriot Caucus group uh, is there, and, 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 and Ivan Reichland, who is the attorney for, for General Flynn, their objective uh, when, uh, is to push the audits uh, and to reverse the audits uh, so uh, the states will flip back towards President Trump, uh, and therefore President Trump uh, would, would you know, uh, become president again. Um, and this is why in Pennsylvania, uh, where I am right now running for U.S. Senate, um, and also um, uh, that, that, that they were pushing very, very hard towards the audit. Um, and uh, you, you saw this uh, also now, you're also seeing it now in Michigan and other states, 
Um, but this audit push is really coming from this Patriot Caucus group uh, and General Flynn. Um, so I first, let me just state how I, I had this information and how this kind of came about. Um, but um, on Monday, April 26th um, of, of 2021, um, I gave a speech uh, at the Berks County Republican Committee. Um, and it was after this speech, I can actually see this speech on YouTube. Uh, I was approached uh, by two individuals. I was approached by an individual named Mark Still and an individual named, named Velma Ann Ruth. Uh, these two individuals uh, told me they were from the Patriot Caucus and that there was a national security issue and they wanted my help uh, in, in solving it. Now, the reason why they approached me with, with this issue is I also am the CEO and intelligence director of a company called Tactical Rabbit. Um, and my company uh, is, is a private intelligence agency uh, comprised of you know, former state officers, military intelligence, and um, I'm not here to promote my company. I'm just, it's very important that you understand what it is because it's an intelligence firm and what uh, at this first county committee, what uh, these two individuals wanted was to hire Tactical Rabbit to gather intelligence um, uh, for them. And at the time, I didn't know exactly what the intelligence was going to be used for or uh, or for what purpose. I just knew they wanted what they wanted to hire. Um, they wanted to hire my firm. Um, Senator Mastriano was also there. Uh, we know he's been in the news tremendously. Uh, Senator Mastriano was also looking for intelligence uh, again to, to you know, push more towards the audit. Um, and uh, I then had later interactions with Bellman Ruth and, and Mark Still with uh, the Patriot Caucus in the following weeks. And what was said to me exactly was that they were recruiting former intelligence officers, uh, both domestic and foreign. Um, and the second they said foreign, uh, you know, uh, red alarm bells went off in my head because can't do that. Um, and what they said to me uh, exactly was that they want to gather intelligence on senators, judges, congressmen, uh, state reps uh, to move them towards the audit. Um, and the, the, the word move was emphasized uh, uh, tremendously. They said they were on an open line. They didn't want to get into full details of the situation. But it was obvious to me that they did not want uh, traditional opposition research, uh, what they wanted was to extort um, and to you know, literally you know, move people towards the audit with, with, with dirt. Uh, that obviously is not what Tax the Rabbit and my company does, and people know what I stand for, that's not what we do. Um, but what I did was uh, I decided to play along with them to, to gain an elicit uh, an understanding more of what they're doing because I felt this group was a risk and a danger to the United States at this point in this, at this point in the phone call and my interactions with them. And I wanted to gather intelligence on them and report back uh, to uh, you know, law enforcement to let them know what, what exactly was going on. Um, and I was then subsequently put in touch with um, um, Ivan Reglin, uh, and I was told at this point in time that Velma and Mark were in charge. They were the, the operatives, you could say, of, of Patriot Caucus. Uh, and then uh, General Flynn was, was running Patriot Caucus. And a gentleman named Al Hardman, uh, who's a billionaire in Texas, um, is financing um, Patriot Caucus and General Flynn. Uh, Al Hardman um, is the um, chairman um, of the Hartman Income Re um, uh, Management Group, it's a billionaire. Again, he's a he's a he's a billionaire, um, and um, he is taking part uh, in moving um, uh, in, in again. I believe in in in, in undermining our democracy uh, th uh, through through uh, financing. Um, going forward here, so. Um, I, I then had com numerous conversations with with Ivan Reitlin. Again, there's you know text messages, uh, uh, audio, uh, a lot of tremendous amount of evidence. I'm not just you know saying all of this. Uh, federal law enforcement has all of this evidence. Um, but what, uh, what was said to me was that you know uh, said to me that the PAGOP, which is a, which is the Pennsylvania Republican Party, better move towards the audit. Um, and, and, and win the audit or he's going to crush them. 
Um, and so this, he, he's very, uh, you know, he's a former Green Beret. Uh, he was extremely aggressive in making this statement. Um, and I let him know uh, that, you know, uh, that, that, the, that, that the PAGOP uh, was, is actually controlled by, by a gentleman named, named, named Mr. Tavis, uh, Lawrence Tavis. Uh, and he said to me uh, that uh, he would you know, crush Lawrence uh, if he did not do uh, what, what was said to be done. Um, again, you know, these are election crimes, um, and this is very, very serious. Uh, and uh, Ivan put me through a number, a series of tests. I'm not going to get into all the details, uh, but he, he put me reporters. If you have questions afterwards, I'm more than happy to, to answer. But he put me through a series of tests uh, to make sure I was that uh, to make sure I, I was one of them. I guess uh, I passed these tests. Uh, again, I was pretending at the time to support the Patriot Caucus and, so, and to support Ivan's mission and, and uh, Flynn's mission and, and Trump's mission, to, again, to elicit the necessary intelligence to help protect the United States. Um, and I was asked to give, um, he told me that, the, that, that he was going to give me the targets for a tactical rabbit and for myself to be able to gather intelligence on and go after. Um, and in order for me to give the targets, though, I needed to give a speech to the Patriots uh, it's kind of like a test, um, and you know, uh, I actually did do this. I, I went out and I gave a speech saying things I did not believe in, um, in order to um, get the operatives, uh, you know, to, to give me the targets so I could then, so I could then report back to law enforcement. Uh, at this point in time, I absolutely notified law enforcement that, that I was that I was doing this. Um, I was not. Uh, tasked in any way, shape, or form. I was um, self self directed, uh, self acting. Uh, the United States government uh, did not give me um, any type of direction, you know, whatsoever. Um, uh, uh, there's a difference between passing information to the government and taking uh, orders and action from them. It's a very big difference. Um, and what ended up happening was I gave the speech. I met with one of the operatives. They were actually dressed in, in paramilitary gear and uh, in, in a paramilitary uniform. I have a photo of it. If the reporters are interested in, in seeing it, I can, I can show it to you. Um, and um, I, I met with this individual and they brought with them um, um, a computer and with, with various targets. And they gave me uh, two targets to, to pursue. Uh, one target uh, was Senator Pat Toomey. Uh, who uh, is someone I actually ran against in 2016. Uh, you know, uh, and even though, again, Senator Toomey um, uh, was an opponent, uh, he, look, he's, he's, he's a senator, um, and, and um, obviously that's not someone I'm, I'm interested, um, uh, not, 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 not someone, uh, someone we're going to target. Again, the, the, the second person who is very, very important here that was given as a target was Congressman uh, Brian Brian Fitzpatrick, um, and he's the first Congress, first district congressman in Pennsylvania. Um, he's also a former FBI agent, um, and what was expressed to me was General Flynn had a serious issue with uh, um, uh, Brian Fitzpatrick, um, and uh, he was number one target uh, for this group. Uh, again, this is. And I was told the exact words that were used to me uh, in this exact conversation, uh, in, the, in the discussion of General Fitzpatrick, I'm, so, I'm, so, I'm sorry, uh, in the discussion surrounding uh, Congressman Fitzpatrick was uh, we will accomplish the mission uh, you, even if we have to use uh, domestic terrorism. So the words domestic terrorism were actually used in the same type of conversation with a congressman. Uh, and for me, uh, that is that is beyond not okay, uh, and that is a national security issue. Um, and uh, again, I, I reported uh, this to the United States government uh, immediately. Um, and at this point in time, um, you know I, the the severity and the danger uh, of domestic terrorism and this group became very very apparent to me. Um, and um, uh, you know, it's just, just, just extreme. It was extremely disturbing. Um, at this point in time, I asked uh, this individual, "Why is it that I am being selected uh, out of all the people out there to to uh, handle these types of operations for General Flynn?" 
uh, again, I, I didn't actually do anything for, for General Flynn, uh, but uh, you know, why why were they seeking me out? And the answer was that again, I, I owned a private intelligence agency attached to Rabbit, so I had the intelligence capability. Uh, plus, um, I was running for U.S. Senate, and I had access to uh, various political um, uh, uh, figures, uh, and I would be able to elicit the necessary information out of them. Uh, and gather intelligence um, on on these political figures as I was running for U.S. Senate, um, and this was going to be in the name of national security. But again, I want to emphasize this is their version of national security. Um, so at this point in time, a a a private meeting was set up between myself and General Flynn with um, um, uh, Al Hartman set up this meeting. I was supposed to meet with. Um, General Flynn at the Omni Hotel in Dallas, um, where um, you know, further operations were going to be discussed. Uh, it was also made clear to me in conversations that there were operation, you know, types of paramilitary operations are being set up in Oklahoma, Nebraska, and Virginia. Uh, I do not know what they're doing there, uh, what General Flynn is doing, uh, but that is something to note that should be looked into because I, I honestly don't know. Uh, but I didn't have a chance to find out because once the meeting was set up with General Flynn, I was advised uh, by my counsel and I was advised by uh, colleagues and, and, and uh, uh, trusted confidants uh, not to engage, not to walk into a room with, with a three-star general when, again, I was not being tasked uh, by the government uh, because I could get in trouble or, 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 you know, and up until this point, I, I did nothing wrong or illegal. I didn't uh, provide any intelligence or do anything. Uh, I was just gathering intel on the other group. Um, but if I were to walk into a room with, with General Flynn, uh, who, who knows? Uh, and, and so I canceled at the last minute, uh, and I did not uh, go, go meet General Flynn. Um, and I disengaged uh, from this operation uh, uh, completely uh, because I felt that in order for me to gather more intelligence or do anything, uh, I, I would have to take action, uh, and, and I was not willing to, again, gather any intelligence or do anything uh, against the United States government uh, or against a congressman or a senator. It's just not going to happen. Um, but what I want to make very clear here is I did alert uh, the Pennsylvania um, GOP, and you know this is going to hurt me politically, and, and I really don't. I really don't care at this point because this is a national security issue and that's all I care about is the United States. Um, and, you know, I, I went to the head of the, G the GOP, I went to Lawrence Tabus, I sent him an email requesting a meeting. So I wanted to tell him about this so he could you know, alert Brian Fitzpatrick uh, and also alert Senator Toomey. I was then referred to uh, Thomas King, who, who is the, uh, I'm sorry, Thomas King then reached out to me, who is the attorney for the PA GOP. Um, and he told me that he was going to alert Brian Fitzpatrick, um, and he he, uh, he took this very seriously, at least on the phone he did, and I found out later uh, that he Brian, Brian Fitzpatrick was actually never notified by uh, the, the PAGOP and by Thomas King, um, and the excuse that was used was that uh, these you know, Thomas King is an attorney, and Lawrence uh, Tavis as an attorney, uh, did not have the duty to warn. Uh, me personally, I disagree with that. I think if someone's life or uh, in this type of situation, uh, I think there is a duty to warn. Uh, I think if you're a human being uh, and, and you see this type of situation, whether you're, you're an attorney or not, or you're not even in a, in a, you're not even a professional, if you see some some type of danger like this, um, I, I personally think there's a duty to warn. Just just that from an ethical doing the right thing standpoint. But that's besides the point. Um, so again, this is there's a lot more to this story, um, a, a tremendous amount more. Uh, you know, this this intelligence, uh, you could call it, I guess, an intelligence operation or or situation. You know, went on uh, for approximately three months, um, and um, again, my my duty here today is to alert the American public as to what's going on. This is not political. This has nothing to do with your, if you're a Democrat or Republican. This has to do with we are all Americans. After 9/11, we were all we were all, all Americans, no matter what 
Um, and right now we have a very, very serious problem. Um, you know, I've even heard people uh, giving in giving speeches that January 6th was okay and the FBI is, uh, uh, people going against the FBI. Uh, to me personally, um, I, I just want to say that, um, you know, I, I think law, federal law enforcement, state law enforcement, these people are heroes. Um, the FBI are heroes. I, I think what happened on January 6th was disgusting and wrong. Um, and I think that the uh, Republican Party um, needs to really take a good hard look in the mirror right now um, because we have a real problem. Um, and I'm standing here today and I know I'm going to take tremendous uh, blowback for, for what I'm doing right now. But I don't care. Is this the right thing to do? And I think a lot of people right now in the, in, the, in the Republican Party and Democratic Party and in America in general need to step up and say this is wrong and, and, and do something about it. Um, so thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate everyone hearing me out. Uh, and we, um, let's see if any questions available. Um, so we do have. Uh, uh, we do have questions, but uh, look, looks like some of these are more uh, confidential. Um, so, um, you know, um, thank you very much for your time, um, and uh, God bless the United States of America. Thank you.